So hello, I'm Francoise Bayless, and it's a real pleasure to be able to introduce the afternoon session. So one of the great things um, about a meeting like this is that in many ways you're sort of speaking to the converted, and that's because we all have and share a couple of fundamental common beliefs. And so I'm gonna share what my intuitions are about those beliefs that we share. So first of all, um, I think all of us agree that it's very important to do research in pregnant women. And I think we, I go further and say that it isn't just any old kind of research in pregnant women that we're looking to support and defend, but really we're looking at supporting research that we would describe as fair, respectful, responsible, and it's in the context of participation in relevant research. But then one of the things that becomes interesting is it's sort of that old phrase, the devil is in the details, right? What do we mean by those key words? What constitutes fair research? What's responsible? What's relevant? And I think those are the kinds of themes that we're trying to explore with the various case studies. So to this point, we've had some cases looking at um, research in labor. And we've already heard a little bit about some of the harms that we could be thinking about. And the obvious one is the harm of excluding pregnant women from research without any kind of justification or actually with a poor justification. And we've already had some allusions to that. You know, I remember a comment from this morning about how they might pollute the data, so to speak, or how we might assume that they're not competent because they're in pain and how that might get generalized. And we've all agreed, I think, that when we think about this, we need to really be attent attentive to the harms that accrue to the pregnant women just through the fact of exclusion when it's this kind of routinized exclusion, and also the potential harms to the developing fetus and the future children they might become. So if we think back to this morning, we heard a number of comments about issues to do with consent, the role of the woman, perhaps the role of the spouse, the family, the community. We heard some comments specifically about capacity with respect to the issue of consent. We heard about access, we heard about recruitment, and we heard about cultural beliefs. And I think we're gonna hear about all of these things again this afternoon, but now in a different context. So we're moving from research in the context of labor to research in the context of non-communicable diseases, or illnesses, I should say. So in that context, we've got two presentations, and I'd like you to think through as you're hearing those comments and questions and uh, comments from them about the questions you've already engaged with in the small groups this morning and how they become somewhat different or how you're able to expand on those in the context of these new kinds of descriptions. Um, and last of all, I think I'd like you to pay particular attention to the cultural issues, because I really think, as Ruth made the point this morning, in some sense, that's what's important in terms of what's brought us all together here today.